Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Today we are kicking off my first official fall decorate with me and we are going to decorate my kitchen. In this video, I'm gonna show you lots of decorating ideas, little simple vignettes, how to style open shelving, creating a centerpiece for my kitchen island, and we're going to be making some pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. So stay tuned to the end of the video to make those together. If you missed any of my previous shop with me's and decor hauls, I will link my fall 2023 playlist down below so you don't miss out on any of those videos. In my last video, I told you guys I would be sharing a piece from my merch shop in each of my fall decorate with me videos. So today, since we are in the kitchen, I have my fall essentials apron here. It has this super cute design on it. So I'm gonna be wearing this while I make my muffins later, but I also use this as decor in my kitchen. Here's the pattern up close. It has all of my favorite fall things. We have oversized sweaters, pumpkins, the Book of Ruth, a cozy blanket, bonfire, cup of coffee, of course, warm socks, a candle, and the chocolate chip pumpkin muffins. So I will link this apron down below. It's kind of just a canvas, like a soft canvas material, and it does have two large pockets in the front. You can also get this design on a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, a tote bag. I have lots of different options on there, so be sure to check it out. It's definitely one of my favorites. On the side of my cabinet, I just put a black command hook and I hang my apron here and it adds a little bit of contrast to the side of our refrigerator cabinet and I love it. And we also finished our backsplash so I can't wait to show you guys an update of how it looks. Here is the backsplash reveal. It took us about four nights total for my husband to tile everything. He did all of the grout work himself and he did such a great job. So the tile that we used was from Lowe's and it is the Boutique Zellige French Canvas White and it's a three by nine inch tile and it, it does have a glazed finish. So if you're in the market for one, I absolutely love this one. It goes great with our countertops, which are white quartz, but they have a little bit of vacuuming in them. So it does pull more gray tones. And I love the variation in this tile and the glossy look that it gives. It was everything that I had on my Pinterest board. So very happy with it. But now we're going to start by styling these floating shelves that I have to the left side of my kitchen. And I like to style my shelves in grouping. So first I'm going to anchor the whole thing with this landscape picture. And then I'm going to add this pottery piece and some faux wheat stems the pottery piece and the art I actually antiqued this little ceramic vase was from Hobby Lobby recently in their new vase aisle which I'm totally obsessed with so definitely check out that aisle if you are in the market for some vases I also have this little pumpkin and this white plaid bowl that I'm going to put in the center of the top shelf I love using practice practical decor as part of my kitchen shelf. So I also have this crock with these wooden spoons inside. And then beside it, I'm going to put some small mixing bowls. I love to use these for the fall time. I love the colors of them. They are also an antique find, as well as this copper pitcher. And I'm just going to group those together. And then once I got that side lined out, I thought that the other side needed something else so I'm adding this small cutting board for the bottom shelf I'm going to start by using some cookbooks these are two of my favorites gather at home and half-baked harvest and then I love this ceramic pumpkin dish so I'm going to place that on top and then I'm gonna place some salt and pepper shakers next to it I feel like that is giving all of the fall soup vibes in that little corner and then on the other side I have this base that I'm going Going to put some white pumpkins in and then I decided to add these little feathers as well I also have this stack of gray plates that I'm going to set next to it and then I'm going to put this pumpkin mug on top
Now I'm going to style the countertop underneath the shelves and I like to set up a little coffee station. So I'm going to start out with a cutting board to anchor the whole thing. Then I'm adding my espresso machine and my coffee grounds in this canister. And then I'm going to add another little pumpkin mug just for fun with these gold stir spoons. And then I have just my coffee um, essentials. I have this little glass pitcher that was thrifted and then I am all set. So that's how that area turned out. I'm also going to add my cake stand to the center of the whole thing. And then I have my KitchenAid mixer always in that corner. And I'm adding some flour, sugar, and brown sugar into these glass canisters. I also love having a Lazy Susan next to my stove with some wooden spoons and a crock and my salt and pepper. That way it's easy to grab when I'm cooking. And then I also for fall added this little arrangement and just popped it next to it. I like to do groupings of three so that's kind of my mindset behind decorating. I also added a Dutch oven to on top of the stove and I have this cookbook stand that I love using every night if I'm making a recipe out of a cookbook so I'm going to place a half-baked harvest cookbook on there and then I have this gourd plate that I'm going to place my avocado oil on. This next area will probably change in a few months, but for now, this is Breland's little station. I have a wicker tray and then I have her water that I fill up her bottles with. And then I also keep her formula in this glass canister. And just to make it a little bit prettier, I decided to add this stand and I placed a pumpkin on top and then I have a small arrangement that I'm going to tie it all together with. these glass cabinets that I thought needed a little touch of fall so I'm adding some darker pieces some copper some amber I have some cups and I'm just placing those sporadically to just give some interest and you'll be able to see it more through the glass and on then the other side I'm doing the same thing I'm just adding some moodier colors and these are all practical decor pieces I love this copper teapot. I think it's so pretty, but I decided to switch spots since there already is a teapot above on the top shelf. So here's what the shelves look like. And then I'm also adding a wheat wreath to my hood. head over to the other side of my kitchen where our kitchen sink is and I have two sides of two floating shelves <laughs> so let's start by decorating those I'm just placing some white pitchers and some more of those goblet glasses I also have this drink dispenser that is in a pumpkin shape I love that for this time of year I have this dark base to bring in those moodier colors a gold candlestick and then I have these really cute gold leaf butter knives or cheese knives it could be either or um, and then I also for the bottom decided to place all three of my magnolia table cookbooks and then just a little floral arrangement and then a wooden bowl with some faux pears in it beside the sink I love to place a candle and here is the look Thank you. 
On the other side, I'm adding a basket with a wheat wreath. This is a little one. And then another basket with a dried gourd. I'm just placing those. And I also have a cake stand and then some plates and some mixing bowls that I'm placing on the second one. And then for the bottom, I'm adding a cutting board to hide the electrical outlet. And I have this vase with some faux florals and some more candlesticks. side of those shelves I have this accordion hook and I felt like it needed something above it so I have these frames that I did some rub and buff on and I just printed out some landscape art pictures that I bought from Etsy and I printed them at Walgreens and it did take some finagling just trying to get it all nice and even but I finally got it I think and then I'm going to style the hooks with a basket. I also have this napkin that I'm placing inside. I love the pop of plaid. This sherbet pumpkin I'm just going to place in there as well. And then this is a really fun antique find to bring in that gold. And then on the other side, I'm gonna have this wreath, but it's dried florals instead of wheat. And then I'm just putting a dish towel. island I wanted to keep it simple so I have this basket tray and I have this pottery piece that I put some picks in from Hobby Lobby they're kind of a blackish bluish thistle and I think it's so pretty I also have a pumpkin and then a little vase with some dried fruit in it make some pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. I'm going to throw on my apron and I will have this recipe linked down below in the description. But you're going to put one and two thirds cup of all purpose flour mixed with one cup of sugar. Then you're going to add in one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, one teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt, and mix all of that together. Next, you're going to add in two eggs, one cup of pumpkin, half a cup of melted butter, and then you're going to mix all of that up. And then you're going to mix in a half a cup of each white and milk chocolate chips. I used Lily's chocolate chips to keep the sugar a little bit lower in these. And then you're just going to line your muffin pan with some cupcake liners. And I like to use a large cookie scoop and do one and a half scoops per muffin. And I also like to add a few more of the chocolate chips on top just because it looks so pretty once they come out of the oven and then you're going to bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees. After they're done baking I just check them with a toothpick and let them sit out on the stove for just a little bit to cool off and then I like to store them in my cake stand. I'm trying to have baked goods a couple times a week and just have them as an after school snack or just a little treat. So I'm going to place those in there and then call my family over and enjoy some muffins together. So hopefully you guys enjoy this recipe. Let me know if you make them. I'd love it if you tagged me over on Instagram. I would love to see your guys' creations, but this is a fall staple over here at our house. Be sure to check out my fall 2023 playlist. I have lots of fall shop with me videos as well as decor haul and then I'll be posting all of my decorate with me's in there as well so I'd love it if you stuck around be sure to like this video don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all soon in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.